Hello guys, this is TechXRena and today we're showing you how to communicate to your Raspberry Pi. Now one option can be you can buy a mouse, a keyboard, maybe a screen and directly plug it in and start communicating. On the other hand, you know, actually this option is a little expensive. So what you can do is uh, use SSH. Now SSH, uh, this is a service which allows you to communicate uh, to the Raspberry Pi via a console. This service is av already available on uh, Linux. On the other hand, Windows doesn't have this. So, uh, to communicate to a Raspberry Pi anyway, you can download uh, Putty. Check our description for that. This is a binary, so you can just double click and run it. Now, here you have to enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. For that, you can watch our other video. I'm just going to go ahead and enter my IP address of the router I'm connected to. I'll be listed, uh, I'll be given this client's list. This is my Raspberry Pi because I've already configured it so I know this is the name. On the other hand, uh, you'll have something like Raspberry Pi written here. And uh, now I enter the username which by default is root. And you press add and give the IP address. You press open. First time it will say some uh, integrity problems that it's not cached so you just say yes. Now it will be asking for the password. The default password for root is uh, root. So you can enter that. And you can see here I am. I have not changed the date although. Anyway so this is my Raspberry Pi. Let's try LS. You can see I can communicate to it directly and this doesn't look like uh, my Windows CMD. This is my CMD and this is my Raspberry Pi. Now Raspberry Pi as you, you would have seen in our other videos that this is purely Linux so it has a completely different file system. So this is the file system. Now uh, let me explain a bit to you here. Now home is where all your user files are. So these are my user files pressing cd double dot will take you one directory back ls will be listing the directory ls is something like this you see these are this is ls basically i press ls here it displays in text on the other hand it displays icons that's the only difference now uh, right now your home directory is root so you go to root these are the files in my root now the problem with the Linux is that they assume you are well, you know what you are doing. So if you, even if you delete some uh, uh, file which requires uh, Linux to run, it won't uh, ask you why are you deleting this. It will directly delete because it hopes that you know what you are doing. So be careful with what you are doing. To uh, to install anything, uh, you can run Pacman. That's package manager. First, I'll update my Raspberry Pi. So I'll type Pacman minus S Y U. Press Enter it'll update everything right now I just updated recently so that's not a problem it's it should be up to date otherwise it'll ask you uh, there are some packages which need to be installed uh, so do you want to install you press Y and press enter it'll download and install okay guys this was how to connect to your Raspberry Pi and a few commands thank you like and subscribe